The Queen has sent millions of royal family fans into a frenzy after teasing upcoming news about her Platinum Jubilee celebration weekend. On February 6, Queen Elizabeth II became the first British monarch to celebrate a Platinum Jubilee, marking 70 years of service to the people of the United Kingdom, the realms and the Commonwealth. Throughout this year, events and initiatives are taking place to celebrate this historic anniversary, culminating in a four-day UK bank holiday from June the 2nd to the 5th. This will provide an opportunity for millions of people throughout the country to come together to celebrate this unprecedented milestone. But the Royal Family Twitter account, at Royal Family, has teased a string of announcements connected to the four-day bank holiday celebration. It's said in a tweet, there's 100 days to go until the Platinum Jubilee celebration weekend. As the countdown begins, tonight's at Pct one show will be broadcast live from Buckingham Palace to showcase how you can get involved to celebrate this landmark event. This teasing message has sent the Twitter account's 4.7 million followers from around the world into a mad frenzy. Twitter user, LeeB39, beamed, I can't wait for this, so exciting. The best time of my childhood was the Silver Jubilee. I truly hope it's the same atmosphere this year. Amema Mojars, at their royal hobby, said, Oh wow! I can't wait to see the special guests. Fellow tweeter said Hussein, ship salute, wrote, God save the Queen, from a Cypriot. Proud member of Commonwealth. Welshi, at Welsh underscore Guna, tweeted, Long may she reign over us. Twitter user B, at Knock62, commented, My sisters and I watched as the Queen Nancy Regan make their way to 20th Century Studios in 1983. The lights were on inside the limousine. The sparkle from her jewelry was quite a sight. On Tuesday, Buckingham Palace announced the Queen has cancelled her planned virtual engagements as she continued to suffer from mild cold-like symptoms due to Covid. The monarch, who is fully vaccinated against Covid, tested positive for the virus on Sunday, and had audiences via video link planned for Tuesday. The palace said the Queen will still continue with light duties following her diagnosis. But it is understood further engagements over the coming week will be decided on nearer the time. A Buckingham Palace spokesman said, as Her Majesty is still experiencing mild cold-like symptoms she has decided not to undertake her planned virtual engagements today, but will continue with light duties. On Monday, the Queen had continued working, issuing a message of condolence to Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro over flooding in his country while self-isolating at Windsor Castle. She had been due to speak to Prime Minister Boris Johnson by telephone today, Wednesday, for their weekly audience. Her Majesty is scheduled to host the diplomatic reception on March 2, where she will meet hundreds of members of the diplomatic corps at Windsor. The 95-year-old is also due to attend the Commonwealth Service at Westminster Abbey on March 14 and Prince Philip's Memorial Service, at the same venue, on March 29.